So now that we've had a little bit of nice weather, the meaties, the white birds, they get to go out on grass today. This will be exciting for them. You agree? This is an 8x8 eight eight pen that's two feet tall. It'll hold about 40 chickens. We usually put about 25 in. We have two of them. What's grass? I've never seen grass before. Not sure what to do. Who's gonna poop? Hey, hey, you all right? I am all right. Yes, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys need to be out. It feels funny on my feet. I know, I can see. And here's all the small ones. I think these guys are due to be butchered on the 26th of May. About a month. These are their first minutes on grass. Everything's kind of new to them. They found the food. That's not new. Now one last thing, I've got moles, so I'm going to use this mole trap. I've used them for years with great success. Uh, great eastern mole, if you, if you live in the, the Midwest, you got them. If you don't have them, you will. So this is made by Victor, and I really love them. I'll show you how they work. First we're going to dig a hole. I use my spade just to dig a hole that is about as big around as the trap. And I'm going to set the trap. To set the trap, it comes with these levers. I just push down. And then that little piece right there goes up under the, the trip. There it is. It has a safety lever, which you always want to put on when you're playing around with it. That's the business end. Don't go in there. It is going to set down right between the holes. There's a there's a hole right there. And the other side of the hole. And the other side of the hole is right there. So it's going to span the holes where the mole travels. You make a little dirt log. Put that in the center. And the trip plate goes right over that just to touch it. You want to make sure it's lined up on the holes. He's going to come through here, go through the scissors, hit that trip plate, and it will squish him. Now what I'm going to do is just backfill the hole and then take off the safety. Alright, so the trap is in there. And I backfilled it because the mole doesn't want to see any light. He just wants to think, oh, that's a collapsed tunnel. Let me go dig it out. He pushes his snout up, trips that plate, and he's gone. I'm going to take the safety off. It's ready to go. One last thing, I'm just going to put a flag next to it. And that's going to tell me, don't mow there. Watch where you're walking. So I set a few of these. Uh, and there's one over there. Uh, I've got a mole that's just tearing up this yard. There's usually only one. I have about one per acre or one per half acre. And they just do a lot of damage. And forget all the wives' tales about bubble gum and sounds and harpoon type. Limited success. They don't work. Uh, moles are out there. They're vegetarians. They're looking for worms and grubs. And they're going along the surface. Uh, so the only way to really to get rid of them is to catch them and kill them. And I found this to be very, very effective. Uh, so I will uh, I'll list the, the model number in case you want to order them. They're hard to find in hardware stores. You usually have to order them. But uh, you only need a couple. They really work well.
What happened to you? I got hit by the ugly stick. Oh my gosh, look at that poor oh, thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Be nervous. Oh my gosh, you had such a pretty face when we left and then we came back and this is what we get. Yeah, the only look, thing that's pretty now is the these wings. Beautiful feathers though. I know. The wings are beautiful. Oh, my goodness. But the face is god awful ugly. There's a reason you're called a pearl guinea. Yeah, but what is this ugliness about? That's um, awful. Well, that is awful. She's a butterface. Oh. Everything's pretty butterface. <laughs> you okay? You're not making any noise, which is unusual. I thought you'd like to come out and get some fresh air. <laughs> I think next week we're going to let you loose, see what happens. Please stay around. Yes, we would like you. There's plenty of ticks for you to eat. That's what you love. Don't get run over. I know you're not too bright. We're going to tag you. Yeah. People know you're ours. Mostly pretty. This something. Big old flops on it. <laughs> Put you back with your friends. Well, thanks for watching. And oh. We had a, a shortened weekend because we were away, but we, we got, got we got a lot done today. Done. So I set the mole traps. And did a little mowing. Worked on the truck. Need to be done. Worked on a few engine repair things. All engine repair. Got those done. Move the Cornish out. So. Ready for the oh, and I cleaned off the, the patio. Alright. Mm. Happy mm. wife. You still happy? I am, but I'm so tired. I really need to be done for the day. Okay, well, let's go get some food. Alright. See ya. Bye.